हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द थ्योरी ऑफ मशीन इन शॉर्ट इट इज इट विल हेल्प यू इन योर अपकमिंग एसएससी एग्जाम एंड कोल इंडिया एंड सेल दिस टाइप ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन इट विल हेल्प यू पार्ट मैकेनिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस which deals with motions time and forces it is divided into two parts statics and dynamic dynamics again dynamics divided into two parts kinematics and kinetics statics deals with analysis of stationary system where time is not a factor and dynamics deals with the systems we change with time and in dynamics kinematics and kinetics kinematics deals with motions of different parts of a mechanism without considering the forces producing the motion without here only forces not considering motion is considering in kinematics both forces plus motion kinematics deals with motion of different parts of a mechanism without taking into consideration of the forces producing the motion but in kinetics we are considering both forces and motions link it is a machine part or a component of a mechanism it may be rigid or it may be flexible fluid may be considered as a link here important is spring is not a link but belt and pulley consider as link link in tension only in case of compression it is not considered as a link kinematic pair links of a mechanism must be connected together in such a way that it transmits motion from one link to other then connected links are called as kinematic pair kinematic chain when several links are movably connected together by joints they are said to form a kinematic chain kinematic chain may be open may be close mechanism close kinematic chain with one link fixed here example of four bar mechanism link one is fixed this is called as frame of the mechanism here in this example link one is fixed if we fix link 2 and other links are free then we will get an inversion if we will fix 3 then we will get another inversion like this inversions we will get then lower pair and higher pair in lower pair surf surface and area contact between the links in higher pair point and line contact exist in lower pair contact surface between two links are similar and in higher pair contact surfaces of two links are dissimilar example sir examples of lower pair are pin joint universal joint this is important not turning on a screw this is also important 
Shaft rotating in bearing. All pairs of slider crank mechanism. Here, slider crank mechanism. This is slider crank mechanism. All pairs are lower pair. This question is asked in IAS exam. Sir. Higher pair examples are cam follower to third gears and get this question not asked to third gear. Ball and roller bearing a pair of friction disc wheel rolling on a surface, plane surface or flat surface. Revolute or turning pair here. This is shaft with collar. This is collar. It can only rotate. It cannot slide. Only rotation motion is possible. It cannot rotate axially. Only rotation motion possible. Lower pair. Degree of freedom is 1. Often called as pin joint. Link 1, link 2. This is pin joint. Only rotation motion is possible. Circular shaft revolving inside a bearing. Cylindrical pair. Cylindrical shaft rotating, rotating inside a cylindrical hole. This is shaft inside a cylindrical hole. Here both rotation as well as translation motion possible. Here it can rotate, it can translate, both motion possible. Degree of freedom is 2, it's a lower pair. It permits both angular rotation and an independent sliding motion. Next is prismatic or sliding player. Here only sliding motion is possible. Delta S sliding motion is possible. Often called as sliding joint, degree of freedom is 1. Next is screw pair or helical pair. This is very very important. It has only 1 degree of freedom because the sliding and rotational motion are related by helix angle. Degree of freedom is 1. This is very very important. It is the degree of func degree of freedom is function of helix angle. It depends on the helix angle. Next is globular or spherical pair. Here No sliding motion is possible, only rotational motion is possible. Here, no sliding motion, only rotation. Delta theta, delta psi, delta phi. Degree of freedom is 3. Ball and socket joint. 
this is also important example is ball and socket joint rotating about each other of the coordinate axis next is planar pair or flat pair it is having 3 degree of freedom here one rotational motion one translation motion here one translation motion delta x delta y degree of freedom is 3 here i will give you an important table for revolute pair the pair variables are delta theta only rotational degree of freedom is 1 relative motion is circular and for prismatic pair only sliding motion is possible degree of freedom is 1 motion is linear or slide for screw pair it is the function of helix angle delta s or delta theta rotation one motion is helical motion relative motion is helical motion for cylindrical pair delta theta and delta s rotation plus sliding two degree of freedom relative motion is cylindrical for spherical pairs all rotation no sliding motion degree of freedom is 3 relative motion is spherical for flat or planar pair two sliding motion and one rotational motion degree of freedom is 3 relative motion is planar thank you friends for watching my video